text menu, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D room in Adobe After Effects CS4 or CS3. It doesn't matter. Um, it's really easy to do. You ne you're going to make a new project. Okay, if you don't know what the 3D room is, my intro uh, where, where it's made, it's a 3D room. What you will need is a texture, only one picture of a texture. So this is going to be the wall texture, which is going to be both of the walls, the roof, and all that. So this is going to be the texture. And uh, we're going to make a new composition. And we're going to go to import. We'll import that texture. And let's drag it to the timeline. Now we had to make this a 3D, to the 3D layer. So we're just going to click here to make it 3D. And now let's make the wall. So you're going to rotate the Y axis to exactly 90 degrees. Just look over here to check how many degrees you're rotating. And let's move it to Z axis. Just right about there. Now we need to make it a little larger, so we're going to scale it right about there. Let's do some more. That should do it. Now to duplicate a layer, we need to duplicate this wall. You're going to click that layer, Control C, Control plus V. It should duplicate. So let's move it to that side. A little bit. Right about there. Okay. Now we need to make the floor. So to make the floor, Control see oh sorry just duplicate the layer like I told you to um, let's just do it like that now to rotate it we had to rotate uh, the whoops wrong one why I no make a few mister oh shoot x-axis rotate the x-axis and right about there we're gonna move it down a bit And we're going to scale it. Okay, I can move it down some more. We're going to bring it back right about there. That should do it. And we're going to make one for the roof. So we're going to duplicate the layer again. We're going to move it up. Oops, I think it went the wrong way. Okay. And now we're going to make the front wall. To do this, it's a little tricky. So, And uh, if you want to look around, we have to add a camera. So let's add a camera so that we can look around like this. See? Now, no one's going to notice this because we're not going to be recording at the back. But if you want to, you can adjust it on your own. But it will take a long time. But I'll do it in a bit. So. Uh, let's click that layer. Let's bring it down. And since it's not going to be large, I'm just going to reduce that scaling. And let's rotate it. Right about 90 degrees. There you go. Whoops, it went a little there. Uh, snap, it goes wrong. Okay, that should do it. Let's push it a little back. Z axis. To check if it's adjusted correctly, use the camera tool and scroll. Use your mouse wheel to scroll. And let's check if it's perfect. Oh. There you go. Okay, that's wrong. So let's adjust it right now. I just corrected it and now it looks much better. So let's go inside and let's see. Oh, we have a small gap. Okay, let's just correct that. So I'll just click this layer and just scale it a little more. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so once you're done, now it looks horrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some lighting to this room just to make it look much better. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and that's going to be lighting. Now intens intensity will be 150%, cone angle 163%, color could be anything you like, the color of the room and everything. Just change the settings as you like and let's click OK. This is your new room. 
looks nice but the lightings look a little odd because it's only pointing up to there so we're gonna change the lighting for everything so to uh, we need to reduce the lighting of this wall so click the wall and click effect color correction and exposure reduce the exposure to probably a little less but this one we're gonna re increase it a little more so exposure should be around there probably and uh, increase that also and finally the other wall that should do it so now you have created a nice looking 3d room and all that is left to do okay here's the light this uh, a yellow color thing and what we're gonna do is if you want to increase the lighting just move it a little more forward see much better it's just that the back won't have any lighting so it's gonna look a little weird but it's all up to you so let's move it a little forward so I can notice it at this line over here this is where the light light is pointing to so let's move it up to here now let's add some 3d text because you're gonna be using some text in this probably so tutorial and uh, 3d layer of course oh it's gone back see and uh, let's select the text move it and uh, just arrange where you want to keep the text I'll put it a little down and there we go we've created a 3d room with our 3d text now here's the thing if you want to make it look a little good for your intro I suggest enabling motion blur for ev every layer like this and to enable motion blur in the video just click this button to enable all the motion blur that you have selected on the layers that should make your lo video look good and next time make your room a little bit larger I mean longer so you're gonna increase the scale of this wall and this wall just to make it a little longer for your intro and uh, yeah so that's about it I hope you enjoyed the video if you did want to subscribe for more so thanks for watching and have a great day